goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. With love and grace, I pass it on to the king of the lists, the questions. The segments that make you go, hmm. you, know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Come on, hit them with it, baby. Let's go. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? This week, it's just a random ass list. I always take it back and think how things have changed in my lifetime. Um, I'm an 80s baby, but I started to come into my own in the 90s. So this this week, we're going to look at things that was done in 1999 that's no longer done today or seem to be negative. Or seem as negative. Number one, joking on people. In the 90s, you could joke on somebody, or as you call it, the Jones, Jones in or roasting people. It won't nothing. You feel me? It won't nothing. People didn't get any feelings. You feel me? People were joking back and forth. Nowadays, you're getting your feelings and you got to record it and all this other shit. No, man. And I push back. On that mm-hmm. one, on that one thing, can I push back? Go ahead. I think Jones and, and roasting and all of that good stuff is still allowed. I think the context in which it's done and the topics about which people can be roasted has changed. I feel well, like let you me can be, still let me you can still me. crush somebody. Like DC Young Fly made his whole career off of just that. Um, I don't know the dude's name, but he'd be like, "Oh, baby." Own baby, own baby, you look like that. Da, da, da. Own baby, uh, and then it's another dude that does it. But it's a lot of people that have made their careers off roasting. I think it's just roasting people for being like gay or a certain race or certain things, and the context in which it's taken. Like when it's known as roasting, and you it's known to be not malicious. But I'm just picking with you, just fucking, just playing around. It's taken a lot different than these people who are out here like saying some foul shit that used to be trying to say, oh no, I'm just roasting. No, nigga, you being a dick. I think it's just more of that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I don't know that roasting is so much as bad as it's the malicious intent behind it is more checked now. Cause like we roast on each other on here all the time. Like y'all clown me for the intro. I clown uh, Pat when he had his bag. Um, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Pat to clown me, or, or you know, y'all both to clown me when I done fucked up on the, yeah, some of the yeah, yeah. words. You know, we don't fuck with face about it, about Wi Fi, like about, about the little weights. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like everybody that been roasted, I think it's just taking in context who's doing it and what's the intent behind it? Is it just to really just have fun and just kind of poke fun in a funny situation or is it to like genuinely try to hurt my feelings? It's and I more, think that it's more like we checking folk on that shit when it's like, I'm trying to fuck with people. It's more trolling than actual roasting. That's what I'm, that part. Yeah. That part. When it becomes like, I'm fucking with you with the specific intent of hurting your feelings or trying to get a rise out of you for no reason. <laughs> That's when it, I think we check in those situations more. I think in the past, we used to just let shit slide like, oh, he just roasted. No, like now it's like, why are you talking about some that like that? Like, how do you mean that? Now, what I will say that I don't like is shit like when they did to Kevin Hart, where he was like roasting on his own son and making a joke and people made it out to be more than what it is. You feel me? Like that type of shit. I can honestly see where you're going with that face. But I think overall, I don't think roasting is becoming bad. I think it's literally just we sensitive as fuck. Yes, people have gotten sensitive as shit. Number two, men and women, without them thinking something bad, it's a difference between being a creep and being a gentleman. But for yes. some reason, the two have been blended and confused. And being a gentleman, holding the door, doing something like that, like most older motherfuckers were taught to do, is getting blended with the other shit, and it shouldn't be. To the point that chivalry has been shot in the head and killed, and motherfuckers is just, it got a battle of the sexes going on again. 
for what reason, I don't know. For instance, for instance, I've been seeing a lot of videos put out by men and women, um, women stating the, the, the supreme purpose of the woman and how important the woman is. Sure, you're important, but no more important than a man is. Both are vital. Both are equally important. There are two sexes for a reason, not just one, because the, the, the existence of humanity depends on both. You Balance cannot create another human being with two men or two women. If it, the existence of humanity depends on both sexes thriving. Let's move on. Three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> face-to-face interaction on a regular basis. With the, with the advances in technology, you got FaceTime and all this other stuff, people don't really have to go see each other. You feel me? Like in the 90s, you would have to go see somebody if you want to see them. If you want to talk to them. You had cell phones back then, but to the point that you won't text in as much and all this other stuff. That leads me to my next one. T9 Texan. Anybody who's T9 Texan. You remember those Texas old Instruments? You talking about the, the calculators? No, 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 no. The format of texting when you had just the ABCD, ABC on one button and the next yeah, letter on one button. You had to scroll you through to get one letter. Yep. T9 that used to take forever until you got real exactly. nice or until you got a we don't do that no more. Next one. Buying CDs. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. That is real. If niggas roll up on you with a CD, you'd be like, what am I going to play this on? <laughs> Why exactly. This? Well, I don't have any. I don't have a CD I can't play in my car real quick. I got a port in my car. I can't, yeah. <laughs> I can't play this on. You, you have a jump drive? drive? You ain't got no jump drive. <laughs> You gonna, you gonna be out here saying that you gonna jump grab now? <laughs> you got no Bluetooth. You got nothing that I connects. I'm gonna take on this jump CDs are like oh, the 45s that. of their of our day when we were growing up. Like, what do you play this on? Like, we was growing up, you could play a CD in the cassette still, but the 45 was just like, what? I ain't got no. What do I put? I'm gonna put this on. Why you got this? Why you give me this? Next <laughs> Using dial-up internet. I'm glad that uh, some things just should die. Face yeah. just some things should just die. You gotta wait. Yes. You gotta wait thirty minutes just to find out one question. Uh, <laughs> get, you get, phone. Get, off, get off the computers, money. Use the phone. Shit. Yeah, I used to hate computer. that. Shit. And it'd be right when you were in the middle of a chat room, like. Gassing up a, a shorty or something like you be right in the middle of some cool shit, and then finally they're connected, and you finally them been in there for a minute, and it's rolling. And then as soon as you get some momentum or whatever it is, or you downloading the picture, and you don't wait it forever, but it's finally almost there. Get out the phone! I need to call mm-hmm. Shirley. Mm-hmm. Oh, Shirley. Mm-hmm. Shirley. Oh, she hey, is. Shirley. Oh, she is. Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of looking at that real quick, see what's going on in the chat room. That's all I'm trying to do. Yo, do y'all remember what else used to be a, what piss you off when you would be on the chat line? Do y'all remember the chat line? Oh, yeah. I've only been on it like once. Bruh, the chat line used to be the shiz niddle Van Sampson. You heard me. <laughs> um, if you've never been on the chat line, let me just tell you. Get yo, go back and do your Google. The chat line used to be crap. Um, you basically would be on the phone talking to random folk. But when I tell you the fun you would have, like you would be on there talking to the most random people, and you could be whoever you wanted to be. Oh man, good times. But anyway. Yeah. Telephone tender. You thought it was telephone tender. <laughs> yeah, but in a big ass group, like you'd be, it'd be like thirty people in a room, and to like mm-hmm. you, would, you would have to like pay a little bit to go into like a private room. So like you'd be running up your parents' bill, and then like you'd be good all month, and you have mad girls, you have mad new girlfriends, but all of a sudden, <laughs> mom Dukes would get that fucking bill. And next thing you know, you cut the fuck off. So all them girls you done bagged up over that past month, 
you now can't talk to for however long. Oh man. Good and bad times. Yeah. Go ahead, face. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to go off on a tangent, but that damn racial shit. comedy. Racial comedy on TV. Stuff like Sanford and Son when Fred was going there, Julio for being Puerto Rican. Oh, Lord. Back then, you know that. Back then, Nigga, back then, it was hilarious. I just watched that show two days ago. That oh, episode. Say that one more time. Who, who doing what to Julio? Say back Fred. Then, you remember on the Sanford and Son when Fred was going there, Julio, his new neighbor for being Puerto Rican and having a goat. And he was like, I ain't gonna have no damn Puerto Ricans in my damn house. And that shit was hilarious and shit because the goat, the goat came in there and ate some of Fred's shit too. And who <laughs> that, was that shit was funny. Exactly. That ain't gonna happen on TV nowadays. You ain't no. gonna have no racial comedy. And Fred would always follow up with this nigga here and this nigga that. Fred was uh, one of the first people to say nigga on TV. They were black. <laughs> with, no, with no action behind it. One of the first. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, one of the first. Not the first, one of them. No, nah, but that's true. Next, Next thing. News that focused on the news. Yeah. 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 The late 80s was more, is was like when the sensationalized news kicked in pretty much when they started just having people that look like they were on an actual news report and saying opinions more than actual news or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Yeah. But majority of the time if news, you could care, you wasn't even watching the news because all you were just saying is just some mm -hmm. stiff dude. News at alert. <laughs> Big fact. Big fact. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing. Oh, face. Mm -hmm. All right. So I wanted to say a story. Like, it's funny you see the newscasters, right, on TV. Yeah. But when you when they're off the clock and you see them out in the, you know, just out and about. One time I was on the strip and one of the main newscasters around here in the 757 has a big head, big, huge head, or whatever. <laughs> He's walking out at his bar. He's drunk <laughs> with with this this tight muscle shirt on <laughs> or whatever. And my homeboy Ariel was like, "Yo, ain't that nigga what?" <laughs> the dude, the dude came out of the, the bar. Um, main newscaster around here came out the bar. I'm not used to it because I'm used to him seeing seeing him with a uh, with a suit on or whatever. This dude looked like he. Just I'm came uncomfortable out. right now. And I ain't never seen this nigga. Hmm. You said what? I'm uncomfortable right now, and I ain't never seen this nigga. I, I was saying, but he came out the bar drunk <laughs> or whatever, and my boy Ariel was like, "Ain't that such and such from the news or whatever?" And he was like, "He was like." Yeah, kids, uh, stay off drugs. And then he... <laughs> I know that don't got nothing to do with anything, but that shit is funny. I'm sorry. I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> you got to throw in them stories, man. It's all right. Oh, man, that shit was funny, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's all good. Moving on to the next thing on the list. Wearing clothes that's three sizes too big for you. Yeah, that would be a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you it moves the shit. Jeans all the time. <laughs> and my last thing, good music. Oh shit! That nigga said, "Hold on, it's good music." What about more What about Roma? What about Tobit? There's some good music, but on a wide array, no. Most really? of the music is bullshit. Well, damn. You done become the old nigga in the club. Nope. You know what I I'll think? Be there. I'll be that. You know what I think? The, I think the, the thoughts and views of face on music in general does not reflect the necess necessarily reflect the thoughts and views of all of the partners. Oh, hell no. 
because I like it. I like some of the new music. I feel like it's the same amount of good music out there, but it's just so much access to people to just make whatever they want now that it's so much random, bad. This person should be doing music at all music out there because okay. it's so. Yeah, I feel I like the exposure is just increased. Yo, back I, in the I, I resent my statement. The, what's different is the exposure to the amount of bullshit music that's out there now. Yeah. All right, can I just say this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did we all vibe out to, I was going to clean my room, but then I got high. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Let somebody, let one of these kids put that out now. But they talk about being high off a of Percocet or Wok or one of these newer drugs. We we'll look at them like they're crazy. But think about how we look back then. Like the same amount of bullshit is out. It's just that we, the, what we call bullshit is different because we're older. So yeah. we see yeah. things different. Yeah. 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 I, I, can't, I can't agree. I can't agree with that song because he's talking about we. We, so, we can go back to we I think that song is dumb as hell and we love it. So is I'd rather be with you. He talking about we. No, I'd rather be with you as a class. Like that's musically. Yeah, and, and, like, and, and, the, exactly. the musicality you got, that and you got some people who listen to Afro Man who think this Boosie is a was class. not just a singer though. You can't judge Afro Man by that because Afro Man wasn't a musician. Bootsy was a musician. You gotta judge Bootsy by the overall musicality of that song, like the instrumentation, over the there, arrangement. Yeah, over there where Afro Man yeah. from? Over there, over there where he from? He big where he from. He may not be big nationally like Boosie was, but way over there where he from? Afro not talking man about big. being big. He's he's talking about being a shit. musician. Afro man got to be judged on his lyrics because he's a lyricist. He's not a musician. He didn't play the. He didn't produce that whole song. Come up with like the actual drum on like. And if we're judging that, then this even dumber about? because that beat is elementary as fuck. So we can't. We don't even want to put that on him like that. The, the problem is now... But he has other that, songs that are better, but I'm just using that song as an example of, like, what we consider dumb as fuck was considered by the older generation dumb as fuck when we were that age. But we loved it, and the reason we still love it is because it was nostalgic to us from that time. If we had heard that for the first time right now, we would look at that song different because we'd be seeing it through these old eyes instead of the young eyes that we had when it came out. Full of dopamine and like now it's 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 more it's it's ten Afro mans to one of like what you consider your favorite artist. Right, because cool. more can filter through. It's not that it's mm -hmm. it's not that it wasn't as much bullshit music. Them same other nine Afro mans was touring at the same time. It's just that Afro Man was the only one that filtered through at that moment. Because yeah, well, now we don't have as much of a filter because of the internet. So, like, we're exposed to a lot more of the bullshit that's out. But I don't think it's more bullshit or that it's less good music. I think it's the same ratio. It's just what we can access and what is thrown at us is a little know, bit different. You know how hard it was to get to an actual studio to make a song? Like, that was pr pr primarily the majority of my struggle <laughs> Finding somebody at that age or whatever, well, I, it, it was just at that age where people were starting to have programs you know on. How hard it was to download a song? Mm -hmm. You know how hard it was to download a song? That ex exactly. Lime Wire, Morpheus. Sure. That was that was like the COVID yeah. nineteen com computers on the <laughs> right. Sure. Pretty much, but yeah, but, like, go ahead, man. No, I was just saying, yeah, it was just, I just feel like it's more access to stuff for people that would normally wouldn't even think about doing it. That's all. It's you just got, and it's harder to filter through. But if you look hard enough or whatever, you can find it. It's just hard to filter through. That is true. All right, I'm done. No well, that was all from the list. That's all for Faces List this week. But moving on from the list, 